Eric Burgess here with Music Marketing TV, and today I'm gonna show you the wonders of Blue Cat Dynamics and how you can use it to make a vocal sound really cool with mid-side. So they recently added the ability to do mid-side with this. I wanna show you the power of mid-side. So here I've got this track. It's kind of a CPU heavy track, so forgive my computer a bit. But I'm gonna play for you just the first portion of this vocal and maybe a little bit ways into the harmony. And hopefully we don't get too many cracks and pops. And so let me really quick just show you the vocal we're working with. Seeking things in bright gold wings, airborne dust floating in the air. But luck came to us, but we were breathing up our cares. And reached out and we woke up, airborne dust started falling. So you see, yeah, we begin to struggle a bit. So in order to fix this, I'm going to just turn off these uh, verbs and things. They're just kind of intense. But I've tailored this vocal just to show you the processing chain. It's already kind of intense. And I've inserted a Blue Cat Dynamics. In this vocal, I also have a Stereoize. By the way, the vocalist, her name is Brianna, uh, excellent singer. And I put a stereoizer in here, which basically I'm just automating a delay. Uh, well, in this case, it's just a phase phase shift between the two channels. And I automate this on and off in order to change the image. So keep that in mind. That's why the stereo image changes so much. It was something I was deliberately messing with. And so we're gonna open up a, a BC Dynamics and I'm going to go ahead and set it up. So here, down in the corner, we have a stereo option. Left, right, I wanna do mid side because this vocal has a certain presence to it, an airiness, an ambience. I guess it's not really presence, it's more ambience. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the mid because I wanna compress the side. And you get some pretty dang cool results in this particular case because the vocal is mostly, like they've got a lot of verb on the side channels. Like this, the side channels are really important for this particular vocal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring down the threshold and bring up the ratio. And in fact, that's, uh, let's, yeah, let's bring up the, the ratio. So you have two options here. You can work as an expander or you can work as a compressor. And this curve's behaving a bit differently because I have the compensate knob on. So let me turn that off and let me show you the differences. So an expander will pull audio up after the threshold, which right now is where it, where it bends. So you see, if once audio gets past here, it actually will get louder than it originally was. We're gonna compress it and turn on compensate. And all that does is it automatically adjusts it so that the volume level is comparable to the input. So our output sounds similar to our input. That's basically what the compensate button does. And I'm going to just dial it in here a little bit and give it a, a quick listen. And we will hear that since we're only doing this to the side channel, the side channels will be compressed a bit and brought up so the verb will be brought up dramatically. And so let's go ahead and just listen to this. Actually, let's do it in real time. So I'm gonna turn off the ratio right now and then I'll, I'll move it as we're listening. Seeking things in bright gold wings, airborne dust floating in the air. But luck came to us, but we were breathing up our care. So I'm gonna leave it on one to one. Just give it a listen. Right now, nothing's happening, so this is the original. Seeking things in bright gold wings, airborne dust floating in the air. So that's what it sounds like. Now I'm gonna bring it up here just a smidge and just listen to the enhanced stereo image. Seeking things in bright gold wings, airborne dust floating in the air. But the luck came to us. So that to me is like that's that's just an awesome like thing to be able to do so fast. And now we can dial it in a bit further. We could try out the different modes. So we have a VCA and an opto. Uh, I kind of want to try opto with this particular uh, vocal. Seeking things in bright gold wings, airborne dust floating in the air. Let's try, uh, let's do a, a before and after. So here it is just VCA. Seeking things in bright gold wings, airborne dust floating in the air. And now here's Opto. Seeking things in bright gold wings, airborne dust floating in the air. I like Opto more. I have a hard time explaining differences that are kind of this way, but to me, Opto just feels a bit warmer. It's, it's not the most technical explanation, but I like opto more. Like to me, there's a difference there. 
Uh, so, okay, so I'm pretty actually happy with this. Now, if you know me, you know I'm generally not happy with stagnant settings, uh, especially in a song where I'm moving the stereo image all around. And so I'm going to go ahead and automate this ratio knob and change how severe it is at different moments in time. So right now, I'll probably leave it where it is. Maybe right as the phase, not as the phase, as the phrase uh, builds up right here, we see we have like a pause. It'd be a cool moment to sort of accentuate or enhance the reverb right there and then bring it back down. You know, let's be, let's be musical with it. So let's do that. And uh, let's just go ahead and, and give this a listen and see what it sounds like with the change. I'll start right here. Floating in the air. The luck it comes down a little quick and maybe that's a bit much. Uh, but in the mix, you know, you never know. You should be doing this stuff in the mix. I'm just, I don't want my computer to be popping left and right for you guys. So here we go. Airborne dust floating in the air. The luck came to us, but we were breathing. I, I quite like that. So let's go ahead and do a before and after. And so here it is without the blue cat dynamics in the mix. Seeking things and bright gold wings, airborne dust floating in the air. the luck came to us. And uh, hey, that was with it on. So uh, right now when I hit play, it automatically comes back on. Seeking if this happens to you, that means that you at some point have accidentally set an event to occur to turn it on. And so to do that, you have to go into your project files and find the event that you created, which uh, current project, we're gonna go to patterns, initialized controls is the culprit. And we see we have the BC Dynamics mute solo. I don't know when I created this, it happens occasionally. Uh, I'm just gonna delete that event. So now when I turn it off, it's gonna stay freaking off. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and uh, hear it with it off first. Seeking things and bright gold wings, airborne dust floating in the air. But the luck came to us, but we were breathing up our cares. All right, now let's do it with with our fancy automation and bringing up the sides. So here we go. Seeking things and bright gold wings, airborne dust floating in the air. But the luck came to us, but we were breathing up our cares. That's quite a difference. I'll do it one more time because I really value a good comparison. Seeking things and bright gold wings. And there we go. And one more. Seeking things and bright gold wings. And one floating in the air. So this is definitely an effect. I might, just because this is the intro vocal, I may bring this in as a wet dry because I'd like it to be thin. That way I have somewhere to go later on in the mix or in the track just in general. Maybe I bring this this in after I, the harmony has been introduced, or I bring it up or down according to where I think it'll be really musical. Uh, but that is my take on it, and hopefully you've learned something pretty cool and seen a neat application of the Blue Cat Dynamics. If you have any questions, let me know. Subscribe, hit the bell icon for future videos, and have a blessed day.